you for joining us. I'm Mark Hiller. We begin tonight with several local business owners sizing up the damage after a vandalism spree. Among the victims, a popular bakery that is extra busy this time of year. 2822's Gianna Galli spoke with owners about the investigation and joins us now in the studio. Good evening, Gianna. Mark, business owners in Carbon County say they woke up this morning to find damage done to their shops. And for that bakery you mentioned, it comes a little more than a week before Christmas. The storefront window on Blended Bakery is boarded up this weekend after vandalism sometime Friday night. Owner Christina Urasitz came into work first thing Saturday morning and couldn't believe what she saw. We walked around the corner and there was glass everywhere and our window was shattered. That window is where she had taken weeks to decorate for Christmas. I take really great pride and so does my staff in having us decorate our windows for the holidays. We change our decorations every three weeks and now we're, you know, at a loss. So it's really sad. The bakery is just one of several businesses vandalized on First Street. A house next door under renovations was also damaged. The contractor there helped Urisitz board up her window when he noticed the house where he had been working was also hit. Came down to get a donut, coffee, and boom, they're, they're sweeping up glass. And they said, oh, the window was shot out, and so we grabbed some wood that we had. We screwed it up just temporarily to keep the heat in for them. We went back to check my windows, and we had one window shot in ours as well. A few businesses down the street, Ateria's on first catering and events, also had broken glass. And across the street from the bakery, wine and more on first was yet another victim in the act. It was a heck of a way to wake up on a Saturday morning. So close to the holidays, and you have people got nothing better to do than, like, you know, being destroying people's businesses. Those I spoke with say it has caused a great deal of frustration, but are glad that a few broken windows is all to come out of it. Could have been, could have been a lot worse. I mean, we sure wish it wouldn't happen, but all all things considered, nobody was hurt. The three businesses still managed to come together and stay open Saturday, not letting their holiday spirit be shattered too. It's the biggest time of the year. It's so important for everyone to keep a smile on their face, so we just had to keep moving. The bakery says it will need a custom window replacement, likely to take more than a month to happen. As for wine and more on first, owners say it will be $25,000 to replace theirs and they don't plan on it. All Lehigh and police will tell us is that this is an active investigation. Stay with 2822 News on air and online for updates. In the studio, Gianna Gali, 2822 News. Mark. Gianna, thanks for your reporting.